the Lord. I'm truly humbled and blessed. Thank you. I started coaching 47 years ago. The reason I'm still coaching is because every day I still enjoy it. It be so popular. Um, I have some thank yous. 47 years ago when I first started coaching, I realized that very quickly that success in coaching or anything in life is who you surround yourself with, and those are the people I have to thank today. First of all, I'd like to thank my wife, Sheree. Thank you for your support. I love you, honey. My two sons, Brandon and Jared, who are here today. Thank you. It's tough me to coach your son because there's a lot of Saturdays growing up and you'll see that. My brother, Richard, was my track coach, cross-country coach in high school. He is here today. From Richard, I learned what a hard-working, dedicated track coach is all about. Thank you, Richard. My father, who is deceased, I learned a love for track and field and cross country. And I have to add also, he was a homer. He loved the Indians and the Browns. Also, I have to thank all the people who have coached with me and been athletic directors in my years of coaching, particularly Floyd Lennox, who is deceased at East Tech, Simon Panage and Benedictine, also all the ADs and Beaumont, my current ADs, fantastic athletic director, Tim Ertle. And I also have to thank, of course, all the great coaches who have worked with me, and that's really the secret to my success. I've had some really phenomenal people. My current coaches, uh, Courtney Young, who's upstairs, and Jim McGeever is around here somewhere. Also, Kim Curtis, and many other coaches who work with me. Thank you, thank you. But above all, I have to pay tribute to all the young men at East Tech and Benedictine where I coach at, and of course, the Beaumont girls from 28 years. It's their joy and their spirits and their hard work and dedication that have truly blessed me and made coaching such a joy in my life. Thank you.